Excuse me, I've got a serious question here. How many words a minute is this cat typing? This is my nephew. Do you think he's gonna make it through kindergarten? Can you settle a disagreement? I feel that this is normal cat behavior. What do you think? This woman, do you think she looks like a turkey? Can I get your help? What is going on here? Watching this video, would you agree that getting lucky is sometimes a bad thing? The first tip to naturally starting a conversation with a woman, make her laugh. Here's the science of why this is important. When people laugh, oxytocin is released. This is the bonding hormone. And all of a sudden, when this person is laughing with you, they're going to feel closer to you. And you don't have to just use a funny video on your phone. You can use a one-liner joke. Excuse me, can I take a picture with you? I want to show Santa Claus what I want for Christmas. Are you trying to get me drunk so that you can take advantage of me? Please keep going. Do you believe in love at first sight or do you want me to walk by again? I'm a really tough, independent guy till 11 p.m. Now, I'll admit some of those are pretty bad and you're thinking if I tried that, I'd fall flat on my face. But here's the deal. It's not about making her laugh. It's about amusing yourself. You finding yourself funny about developing this fun, just a great attitude and people pick up on that. Even if she doesn't think it's hilarious, she'll think this guy's actually pretty funny. He's entertaining. He's enjoyable to be around and that's what we're shooting for. Next up, learn to playfully tease. The huge advantage here is that this is something you can do throughout the night, you can do throughout the conversation, you can develop kind of a hidden language. So I'll share with you a story. When I was stationed at Quantico, I remember going up to DC and meeting this beautiful French exchange student and I'm talking with her and of course I don't speak any French, but I told her, you know, I speak American French and I just added ooh la la to everything. I thought I was funny, I had a few drinks in me. She actually thought it was funny and we had this inside joke all night there at the bar just kind of speaking our our secret language. And I'm not going to say what happened that evening, but let's just say I had fun and it was a great night because I was able to develop this relationship, have this secret little flirty language that I was going back and forth with that person. Next up, leverage your common ground. Literally, leverage where you're at. So you're both at this bar. You were here a few years ago. You've noticed this place has changed. So mention that to her. Talk about, you know, I was here a few years ago. And I remember they used to have this over there. There was a different band playing. Man, they've really improved this place. All of a sudden, you're sending out positive signals and it's just a conversation starter. She's there you're there and all of a sudden that opens it up to other questions. It's a very simple tactic but one that can be very effective. You're at a wedding venue, all of a sudden you're talking about the bride and groom. You find out more about who does she know, how is she there, all this because of the common ground. Now before I get farther into this video, I want to thank Claudia Cox over at Text Weapon. She actually helped me write this, put it together. She is an expert when it comes to texting and to communicating with women via text, via message. If you're interested in getting better at this, if you're a husband and you want to better connect with your wife, if you've been in the same relationship for two years or you want to get in a relationship and be able to interact with women, guys, go check out her website. She's a great friend. I've met her personally. She's come out to my Menfluential event. So go check out her website. I will link to it down in the description in addition to the support article, which I'll go into more detail than I ever do on these videos. And I do this for pretty much all of my videos here at Real Men Real Style. So if you're curious, go check out realmenrealstyle.com and I'll put the link down in the description. Next up, comment on her outfit in particular the items that have a story to tell. So if she's wearing her favorite team's jersey, she's a Oklahoma Sooner and you're a Texas Longhorn, you may want to rip her a bit and give her a little bit of fun about that. Then all of a sudden you've got something in common. Not too much, but you never know, it could work out. This is actually from research at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. And what they found is that when people use this as a springboard into a conversation, all of a sudden they felt closer, even if they were on opposing teams. You can ask about her jewelry. Is there a story? It looks like a really eccentric piece. All of a sudden, she launches into telling you where she got this, the story behind it. It was a gift from her father when they were traveling down to New Mexico. And all of a sudden, you can talk about, hey, my mom's in New Mexico. You've got that common ground, all springboarded from the clothing that she was wearing. The next tip, don't be afraid to invoke pop culture. And I know a lot of guys want to stay away from this, but you can have fun with it. I mean, just simply go up to her and say, hey, I need to know, what's your opinion of Justin Bieber? And she's going to probably have one way or the other. You may start running if she really loves him, or maybe it's just something she could talk about. You know what? I remember when that guy was on YouTube. It's just one factor of many things out there, but you'll find that it's just something that everyone knows a little bit about. Everyone has an opinion of, I don't know, Ariana Grande, whether you like her or not. I know with my daughter, I call her Ari Ariana, her name's Ariana. So I call her Ariana Pequeño, and it's a conversation starter. So make sure to use it. It's a fun one. 
Now this next one can get you in trouble. Don't mansplain. And this is when basically a guy assumes that a woman is not very smart about something and he tries to break it down. He goes into teaching mode. He slows down. He tries to break it out Barney style. She doesn't appreciate this. I, I don't know of a single woman in the world that appreciates this. I remember in the Marines, we were really bad at this. You'd be at a bar in Oceanside. You start speaking to a woman. You start throwing out, oh, I'm part of BLT31. We're going to be going on a Westpac. I'm an O3. You're throwing out all these acronyms and she has no idea what you're talking about. And if she does, she's probably been married to a few Marines and you probably don't want to be hitting on her. Point being here is that most people, you don't want to mansplain to them. Don't treat her like she's in high school. And if she is in high school, what, what are you doing hitting on her? Next up, avoid talking about past relationships. You may have been married twice and that's maybe conservative because you didn't count that first one in Vegas, which you got annulled within 30 minutes. Point being, she doesn't want to hear about all your past relationships. So make sure to throw that out. Let's talk about the future. Let's talk about the now. Let's talk about what's going on right now. This isn't your therapist. This is an attractive woman that you want to talk with and possibly build a relationship with, even if it's just for the night. Now, this next tip is incredibly powerful and that is ask to be introduced. So you're at a party and you know that she knows the host. The host is a good friend of yours. Ask for the introduction. This is so powerful in terms of developing trust because she immediately knows, okay, this guy is not a serial killer. This guy is not some weirdo. So all of a sudden you get a lot of power, a lot of goodwill comes with the introduction. Now, the second part is super interesting and that is that even if you're introduced by somebody that they don't know very well, they just met this guy, they just met this gal five minutes before, but if you can still get an introduction, it almost conveys the same amount of power as if it's a good friend's introduction. Super powerful, leverage this tip. Next up, talk movies. People love talking movies and the vast majority of people have watched a few movies out there and you just may find that you've got another horror fan. She absolutely loves all the Chucky movies, the Friday the 13th. And you're like, wow, this is exactly who I've been looking for. All of a sudden you start geeking out, going into all the details, find those connections. And that's what we're looking for. Pop cultures, movies, maybe she's into the Godfather. Maybe she absolutely loves Ocean's 11. She's big into the Mission Impossible. Whatever it may be, find the movie, find the connection and uh, leverage it. Now this next one's a bit overused, but it still is very powerful. And that is find out what her passions are and have her talk about that. Because if you can get her going about her passion, she is going to associate the feeling that she feels from when she's out hang gliding or when she's out, maybe she's a skydiver. She is someone that loves to go scuba diving, whatever her passion may be. When you get her talking about this, she's going to feel better. She's going to remember those feelings and she's going to pass some of that feeling on to you and associate it with your relationship right there. Now, how do you get to this? You don't just go up and straight, Hey, what are your passions? But as you're having a conversation, you can pay attention to how she reacts, how she wants to go in certain directions, how she actually talks about things. Does she give you a one word response versus when you mention this, she, she goes on for like two minutes and she would have gone on, but she's trying to be nice. And then you can encourage her to continue. So pay attention to actually what she wants to talk about. And that leads me to the next point. Pay attention to the small things. Notice what's going on at the party. Notice what she was talking about with other people. Be someone who pays attention to the details. Is she drinking alcohol or is she not? Maybe she doesn't drink and all of a sudden, again, you found something in common there because you actually stopped drinking or notice that she's a, she's big into her vodka and whatever. And she's on her fourth drink. Hey, let's have fun. She is here to party. And so are you, whatever you may find and whatever connection, pay attention to those small details. The next tip, you want to give her a sincere, a real compliment. But how do you do this without being creepy? Guys, I've got you covered with this video right here where I go into details of how to give compliments naturally, sincerely, and without being creepy. Check it out right here, guys. I will link to this video down in the description.